Good afternoon all. Uh, another update on the walkie-talkie kit build. Um, I still haven't fitted Link J1, so this unit still doesn't receive, but interestingly it does transmit, and that's because the Link is only connected to the speaker via the switch when it's in its uh, receive position. When it's in the transmit position it doesn't go through that part of the circuit at all. I'll just show you on the circuit diagram. So the link with which I've not fitted is actually here, so it cuts at that point, there's a cut there. So this uh, capacitor is just completely isolated on this right hand side. But this capacitor comes down here, goes through the switch. Now these uh, markings on the switch here are with it in its receive position. So that wire comes through the switch to the speaker when it's in receive mode, when it's in transmit mode, this pin here, so in other words, that capacitor, isn't connected into the circuit. So this thing transmits just fine. Now I haven't built the second walkie-talkie, but do I have something that can receive amplitude modulated RF at 50 megahertz? No. But I do have this. It's a rather nasty little uh, FM medium wave and short wave receiver. It's nasty because the volume seems to be affected by whether you touch the antenna or not, which is a bit strange, but it does work. Um, now the wave bands, I have to get in a bit closer for this, let me focus on that. Uh, at least the short wave wave bands are 5 megahertz, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and uh, this band here, 21, well just 21 megahertz basically. But I have to discovered that I can pick up the transmitter on this receiver. Of course, it's not properly tuned. It's picking up some sort of subharmonic. Um, and it sounds absolutely appalling. But uh, on band 8, I can pick it up. So let's set that up. So first of all, let's attach the 9 volt battery to the walkie-talkie board. Now, there's no sound coming out of the speaker because that link J1 isn't fitted. I will fit that immediately after I've done this. Oh, I have attached a little piece of wire antenna to the thing there for when I transmit. So now let's turn on this little shortwave radio. Right, switch it on. Now that's FM, that's AM, and it just has this sort of really horrible tendency to get louder if you touch the antenna, which is just weird and horrible and I don't like it. Okay, let's see if I can uh, transmit with this. So yeah, you can hear that it is transmitting. Let me speak into it. Hello, 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 hello. So yes, it's picking it up. I mean, it's at the wrong frequency. Getting feedback as well. It's at uh, the wrong frequency, so it's all distorted. But it is receiving. Hello, hello, hello. So this is working as a transmitter. Brilliant! Now the best reception frequency uh, I could find that gave the uh, the best connection between transmitter and receiver was 21.24 megahertz, which doesn't sound like it's half of 49.8. So I don't quite know why this is working. Uh, there's probably some maths that would... I don't know how accurate this is either on this radio. Uh, there's probably some maths. Uh, someone in the RF game could probably tell me why this works. But uh, anyway, I'm happy that the transmitter is now working. I think it's time to fit Link J1. So, soldering iron stand, a little bit of water, and let's get the iron. Right, while the iron warms up, I'll just fit a little bit of link wire. If I can get that to fit in. I keep little cutoffs, these wire cutoffs just for this sort of occasion. Okay, that's in. I think I'll just hold that with a bit of blue tack. I'm soldering this with the power on, which is probably not best practice, but let's see if it suddenly starts giving white. Oh yeah, that's good. Got white noise now. And that sounds very promising, but this is now not only a transmitter, but also a receiver. Great stuff. 
So that's the current state of play now with the walkie talkie kit. Um, it works as a transmitter, we can hear that on the uh, little shortwave radio, wrong frequency, but it works. It's also now clearly working as a receiver because we're getting white noise coming through and possibly a little bit of mains hum, can't quite tell. Now the next thing I need to do of course is to build the second walkie talkie kit, uh, pretty much identically to this probably, and I'll probably build it like this, not in its case initially, just so that I can test it. And then I think the final thing will be tuning the little inductor transformer up there so that the two units are on the same frequency. But uh, so far so good, this kit actually appears to work. So I'm quite pleased with that. Happy New Year.